Hi everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to use Quandela's photonic QPUs and simulators to run your own quantum algorithms through the cloud. I'm going to walk you through this process in four easy steps. Step one, creating a token. To start using Quandela Cloud and running jobs on Quandela's QPUs or noisy simulators, you first need to create a connection token that you will use to validate your request to the cloud. So first, connect to your Quandela Cloud personal space using your login credentials. That will bring you to this page. You can then simply open the left panel here and select tokens. You press create new to make a new token. You should give a suitable name to your token to help identify it. I'm going to call my token cloud test. Step two, assign permissions to your token. Navigate to the tokens tab and by clicking on the I symbol, you can see detailed information assigned to each token. Open the permissions tab and here you can select the platforms that are available for use. You can select the QPUs or simulators that you are interested in using. You can move them over to the usable platforms tile. For convenience, I've selected them all. Make sure to save this choice. OK, now your token has been given permission to use Quandela's cloud servers and is ready for use. Step three. Now we need to import our token into our OVH cloud notebook. On the OVH cloud dashboard, we can create a new notebook on the AI notebooks tab. Select Jupyter Lab as the code editor, and be sure to select Quandela Percival as the chosen framework. You can customize the details of your notebook to your liking. Now, inside your notebook, you can make sure that Percival is correctly installed. Then, you can enter your unique token to build a processor of your choice with Quandela's QPU. Step four, your first job on the cloud. We can now use this token to access the cloud for our own quantum algorithms. I've set up a simple quantum circuit, which I can take samples with using Quandela's QPU. So let's run our program and take a number of samples. We can go back to the Quandela homepage and check the process of our job. We can see that the job has completed successfully. Once our job is finished, we can view the output of our circuit using our Jupyter Notebook. Thank you for watching this brief tutorial, and we hope you enjoy using Quandela's cloud.